Geometry, chapter 1, section 3, we are in example 4. We are going to find the midpoint of a segment. Midpoint, middle. So for finding the middle of something, you are finding basically the average. Average is middle. So this is pretty easy formula to remember. What is the average? Well, add the two numbers and divide by 2. So your midpoint would be your x plus your x divide by 2 and your y plus your y divide by 2. And that would give you a point, and that point is your midpoint. So here's an x, here's an x. So I'm going to take my 8 plus my negative 14, and I'm going to divide it by 2. And then we're going to take, here's a y, here is a y. I'm going to take my negative 6, I'm going to add my 12 negative 6 plus 12 and divide by 2 and that are the coordinates of my midpoint so 8 plus negative 14 8 minus 14 is a negative 6 divided by 2 and this is negative 6 plus 12 so 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 is 6 divided by 2 and final answer 6 divided by 2 is 3 so this would be a negative 3 and a positive 3, and that would be my midpoint. Um, if you wanted to take a quick look, and let's see, do I have... Uh, this one's probably not a good one to graph because points are kind of big. But you could graph it and look and see that negative 3, 3 would be halfway between the two of them. Let's look at another one. This one might be better for graphing when we're done. So let's find the coordinates of the midpoint again. So for this one, uh, again, we're going to take our x plus our x divide by 2 take our y plus our y and divide by 2. Since you're adding, order doesn't matter. Your commutative property. So this is my x. This is my x. So this is going to be negative 2 plus negative 8. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. And then this is my y and this is my y. So that's a 3 plus a negative 9, and I'm going to divide that by 2. So combine my terms. So negative 2 plus 8, or plus a negative 8 would be a negative 10 divided by 2, and 3 plus negative 9, so that would be 3 minus 9, which would be a negative 6 divided by 2. Final answer would be negative 5 and negative 3. 5 divided by, so 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Um, so I said I was going to graph this one, so you can see that was the answer they gave us for the book. Um, let's insert a picture, and I need a 10 by 10. There's my 10 by 10. Oops. Bring this down. Let this go away. So I want to graph the point negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2, positive 3 is here. And negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is right there. And then my midpoint here is negative 5. Oops, do that one in red. Negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And you can see it does line up right in the middle of that. If I just draw a little segment here, voila, it is on the line and it is between the two. So that is my midpoint.